Hello everyone. So um, I want to talk about something that, um, you know, it's kind of like not important to me, but something that really has stuck with me like my whole life. Like some of my very first memories as far back as my memory can go has to do with this one girl that was uh, murdered. Um, I don't know, like uh, people who are not in America probably haven't heard about this, but if you live in America, it was a really, really big deal. I think it was like in 1994, I think it's happened. Oh no, I think it was like 1994 or something. I remember this when it was happening. This little girl, she was like a beauty queen. You know, like I know in like other countries, you might not have this thing where like little kids, um, they you know how they have like beauty pageants for like women in America. They have this for like little kids too. Okay for like little girls and so um <laughs> this girl really reminds me of like how I would like treat my daughter or something like like this girl like if I had a daughter like in the future if I have a daughter this is how like she would be <laughs> like I dress her up and like we put her in pageants and all this <laughs> <laughs> like little things like that because like um I don't know I just um I think it's fun but um this girl the um, oh yeah if you live in America you're gonna know who I'm talking about I'm talking about um a girl named Jean Benet um my name is Jean Benet how old was she when she got murdered See, uh, guys, I need to look this up. This is not, this is something that has always stuck with me. Because I remember, like, when it was happening and everything. Um, but I don't, like, have, like, all the facts, like, memorized or something. Um, John Bonet was, uh, like, eight years old or six years old? Six years old. She died when she was six. Okay. So she had a very short life, okay? And, um, 1996. Um, and I remember this girl, like, all the time her face would always be in front of me, like, all the time. And, um, they never solved the murder of who did it, you know? But, like, um, I used to think she was so beautiful, you know? Like, she is. She was so gorgeous. She's, like, she reminds me of, like, um... She's like a little Barbie, like a little Barbie doll. Because, <laughs> like, I'm into that kind of stuff, God. guys. Because people, you like, call me, a, like, a living doll all the time. Like, people call me that. So, like, I see her. Like, I understand her. Like, I understand. Like, um, when people, like, see you that way. Because people see me that way. Like, I'm not, like, a real person or something. Or, like, you know, like, perfect. Or, you know, like, um, people see me as, like, perfect. Like in like every way and stuff and like um but she was like one of these type of girls that is like poor, like people feel this way about her or like she gives up this aura you know like there's like you, you you don't come across these type of girls like often but when you do like um it's like uh you know these uh like that uh yeah you just you know them when you see them okay <laughs> um and it's kind of weird because people treat me this way the same kind of way that people like view jean benet is like we're not real we're like an object or something we're not like we don't have feelings or if we act out in any sort of way like that's like you know if we have any kind of raw emotions and we're not like acting like a normal human being and going through the same thing then human being all people go through like there's like we're like in trouble or is there something wrong with us because we're not perfect like i was very, i was i was raised in a family like that where like perfection and like high the standards were very very high you know and um like everybody you just had to be perfect at all times you know and uh so yeah i get it i get it <laughs> um 
but they never solved the case of um, like who murdered her. There, it was um, always something um, new was coming up uh, with this. I think the last um, update that there was on this was like, I don't know, like her brother did an interview on TV and then nothing came of it, of course. Like people just started saying he was creepy and everything and a lot of people accused him as like, no, I don't think so. I don't think the, the John Bonet's brother murdered her because first of all, to have the amount of strength it takes to kill a child and the way it was done, there was like a there was like a tourniquet and there was she was sexually molested and then there was like a stun gun used and there was just like all kinds of stuff. The brother didn't do it. No little nine year old is gonna do that, okay? And you know how much of a force it takes to like m like strangle somebody until they die? Like no, the kid. There's no way the the little kid did that or would even know how to do that or something, you know? So, um, no, I don't think that John Bonet's brother uh, murdered her. People need to stop and leave him alone, okay? Like, Burke is like, he's just like, uh, I mean, if you grew up like with that kind of scrutiny on you, like people following you and shit all the time, always comparing you to John Bonet and everything, like, uh, you'd be screwed up and looking like all crazy too, you know? Like, people say he's creepy and weird and stuff. And like, Leave him the fuck alone, okay? Um, um, the, the, oh, and then after that, no, before that, before Burke did the interview, there was this guy in Thailand, I think, that, like, was, he's just some kind of pedophile. He was just some pedophile that wanted attention. He said he murdered Jean Bonnet. I remember I was in college when this, um, it was, like, 2009, I think, whenever that dumbass came out and said something like that. And it was just a lie. He was like, no, you, no, you didn't. He just, he was just some weird pedophile. He just wanted attention, okay? But, um, Jean Bonnet's murder has never been solved. Both the parents are dead now, I think. I think they're both dead. I don't know. I know the mother is. Mother died of cancer. Um, I think the father died recently. I don't know. But, um, yeah, they never solved it. They never solved the case. And um, it's really, 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 really tragic. Like, um, uh, I don't know. Like, when I was, like, a little kid, I used to think Jean Benet was so pretty and so cute. And, like, and, like, she's, like, one of those, like, I, like, really, like, like relate to the like the, the 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 way that people like um project onto you and things like that i could understand it um how she how she well at that age she probably didn't have those type of feelings or development yet she didn't understand it but i do understand when people the outside world like views you in that sort of way and i just wanted to like talk about it a little bit because this case like really bothers me because it's like what do I think happened? I think the parents had something to do with it. Um, um, and by that, I mean, I think that whoever did it no knew the parents it was either a friend somebody who worked um at the father's office or like somebody somebody was there in that house the night that she died at that that party that they had they had a christmas party and then like that night somebody took her and uh like um uh, strangles her in the basement and everything like i believe that like i, I don't believe the parents like killed her because like you know they would have found they would have found out okay that like the parents did it okay but um uh, they they never did could link it to the parents that's why i don't believe that the parents did it because i mean if there would be overwhelming amount of evidence that like that they did it, and i don't think that they did i think it was somebody that they knew i think they know they knew more than what they were telling it was like somebody they knew. It was like a friend of the family or something. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, like, sometimes people have, like, a problem with these child pageant things. I don't have a problem with them. Like, I like that kind of stuff. Because I remember, like, when I was a little girl, I liked that kind of stuff when I was little. So, like, girls like that kind of stuff if they're, like, really feminine and, like, like that kind of a thing. Uh, so, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's the, it's the adults that you have to worry about, you know? Because little girls like dressing up like that, okay? 
I'm just telling you. Like, it's nothing sexual about it or nothing. That All of those weird thoughts and everything, it comes from the adults doing that to them, okay? So, I, but as far as, like, the little girls themselves doing it, it's perfectly natural, perfectly normal, and nothing wrong with it, you know? And, like, if they like doing it and they're good at it, like, it's fine. But it's, like, um, you do have to, like, uh, worry about... And some, some girls have, like, a talent for this kind of a thing, you know? And, um, you know, uh, it's just, like, you have to worry about the adults that are around, okay? It's not the kid's fault that, the, the kid's fault that, like, you know, the, the, the parent, like, adults sexualize them and stuff like that, you know? So, um... I think that there was some, like, update on this, like, uh, recently. I don't know, like, the, there was, like, there's been, like, lots of stuff. But anyways, um, I was, I was gonna, like, uh, I don't know, I saw something in the news, like, recently. Some, there was something, like, in the news that I saw about it. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, I should talk about that. Like, that's like a, um, a case like not many foreigners might probably don't know about it, you know? Like, it's like an American thing, you know? Uh, and it was, it's like a very old case and everything. But I remember, like, um, Jean Benet has always been there, like, my whole life. Like, in my face, like, all the time. Like, if you're like a little girl in America, that was like the 90s, you know who Jean Benet is, okay? At least I did. Like, I was obsessed with, like, like magazine, the fashion magazine, and, like, this type of thing, you know? But <clears throat> it's, like, really sad. Like, it's, like... Because, like, when you look at this family, they were, like, the picture-perfect family. It's so bizarre. It's just so sad. Like, that, like... She was such a beautiful girl, you know, like she was so cute and her um, personality was so uh, adorable. She was such a, like a sweetheart, you know, she was a really cute little girl. She was such a sweetheart, you know, and um, like, like, you know, and like when you see stuff like this, it's just like, um, makes you think like, why, why, you know? But I do, if you want my opinion on who did it, I think it was, a, like, somebody the family knew. And something to do with the father's work. Because there's way too much, like, um, stuff, like, known about, how, like, how much he made his salary. Um, like, specifics about, like, their bank account and things like that. So they definitely knew who the killer was. Do I think it was the parents? No, I don't think it was the parents. But, um, yeah. It's just, like, sometimes her picture, like, pops up, like, here and there. Every, every once in a while, like, I'll see her her picture like pop up you know and it's just like so sad like when i look at oh, when i when i look at her she's so cute and beautiful and like uh she could have done wonderful things if she had lived to you know adulthood uh i couldn't i can imagine like if i was a parent and i had to if like my child something like that happened to them i would like i don't know how i, I don't think i would be able to like move forward you know like i don't know what i would do it's like when you think about that kind of stuff it's like crazy it makes you not want to have children and like makes you like want to like because <laughs> yeah it's like scary to think about these type of things you know but anyways if you don't know if you didn't know about the case of jean benet ramsey it's a very very there's so many documentaries made about it there's so many um things about uh, movies, TV shows, documentaries, so much information out there on it. Because um, the reason why is because she is really seen as like, like I said, like this ideal image of a little perfect girl and the perfect family. And then like when something like this happens, so like it's really like, um, and then when you see her and the, like her little pageants and uh, things like that, she's so sweet. So it's, she's really like um, people like really are captivated by this type of thing, you know. So uh, she's such a sweetheart, little Leo. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, you can like, there's lots of stuff on Netflix, um, about her, like, lots of documentaries on YouTube about John Bonet and everything, so, but I hope wherever she is, like, her soul is that, um, you know, she's at peace, because, I mean, she's such a sweetheart, you guys. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!